Hi Aries, welcome to your general reading for the first half of August. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. If you are new, please do check the description box below. Any and all information that you need is down there about readings, about um, anything you need to know, decks I'm using, tons of stuff there. So please do go check that out, be greatly appreciated. And uh, before we get started here, just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much to those who have reached out for personal readings. Thank you, thank you. And those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as in a tip or donation to the channel is very much appreciated. So thank you, thank you so much. I could not do it without you guys. So it is greatly, greatly appreciated. And I do, do appreciate all the love and support I get from you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Couldn't do it without you. All right, and I truly love to do this. So let's see what we have for Aries the first half of August. I hope everybody's doing well. Can you believe we're in August already? Time is just flying, flying by. Okay, for Aries, first half of August. This is a zodiac oracle, so we may get a sign, element, or planet energy. So whatever we get here, if it does or doesn't resonate, that's totally fine. Just a little extra bonus here. All right, for Aries, what kind of energy may be around Aries, Spirit, please? The first half of August, Spirit, one card for Aries, one card for Aries. What is around them? The first half of August, please, Spirit. Oh, there we go. Aquarius. Okay, so some Aries may have an Aquarius around them, friend, family, co-worker, could be anybody you could just have Aquarius in your chart um, or something like that or know somebody who has Aquarius Aquarius heavily in their chart in some way <coughs> so let me get a drink of water doing a lot of readings today so my throat's getting scratchy all right so Aries Aries, let's see. All the decks are listed below if you're also interested in that. I, I know I might have met, mentioned that already. But anyway, um, all the decks have been pre-shuffled, cut, and meditated on off camera. There will be more shuffling on camera just a little bit. So please have patience with that. With this deck here, we will get your main message, what you need to know, what's going on with you. Oh, we got one already for Aries. So we have hope. Your loved ones in the spirit world know when to reach out if they see you're at a low point. Whether you are caught up in a difficult situation or struggling with someone specific in your life, there is always hope. Okay, so if you have anyone uh, close to you that has passed over, this is letting you know that they're always by your side, sending you hope, strength, um, and that kind of energy. And this also, this also almost reminds me of the star energy, which also is the Aquarius energy in tarot. So just always have hope, faith, and optimism whenever you're struggling or feeling down or going through something right now. Maybe you are going through something right now that you're struggling with. And let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Seek. The power of spirit exists in all things. Everything is made of energy, and every single thing in your physical world contains a fragment of spirit, including you. We are all one with the spirit and always will be connected to one another. So, yep, just have that faith, hope, and optimism that, you know, everybody is connected. You know, family, uh, seek out maybe friends and family if you need help, help if you're struggling with something right now. Um, it doesn't hurt to seek out the help of friends and family, even coworkers. So, all right, <clears throat> let's see what's going on for Aries Spirit, please. What's going on for Aries? Get some clarity here with the tarot. First half of August. One more shuffle. All right, what's going on with Aries? What I don't know. I feel like you're going through something, or you're struggling with something. Maybe you feel feel like sometimes losing hope, but saying here not to lose hope. 
right, so we have two here. Wow, the Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. So this is Earth energy. So um, you might have had an Earth sign that uh, maybe a mother figure or a female figure, maybe that passed away that is watching over you, I feel. Or this is just you telling you to... Um, this, and I also seen under here to stand your ground. And the pentacle energy is very firmly pr planted. It's all about stability and um, firm foundations and like standing your ground. So I had seen that, and but I just kind of didn't say anything. And I think Spirit was nudging me to pull that out. So if you're feeling low, this is saying not give up, keep working, keep moving forward. Um, the Knight of Pentacles here, he moves forward, he takes action, very slow, steady, uh, grounding energy, but he does move forward uh, very slow and surely. And, you know, you will remain stable and grounded here with the Queen of Pentacles, you know, it can be male or female, um, and be somebody who is independent and secure and stable and abundant and has prosperity and growth and abundance as long as you keep putting in the dedicated effort moving forward. You know, it's telling you not to give hope, just keep moving forward, moving forward. All right, so let's see what other energy is around you. So we have the Six of Wands and the Queen of Wands, wow. So we have two different female energies here. Um, so this is your energy with the fire. Um, Aries, Leo, Sag, along with the Six of Wands. So I think I feel here also by, you know, keep moving forward, striving forward, you know, maybe very slow moving, slow process, but keep working on your growth, your stability, your foundation, your basis. Even when you feel like all hope is lost, just keep moving, moving forward, and you will have success and victory, victory here. And this is being very passionate and determined with the Queen of Wands energy of you know having a grasp of what you worked hard for and being in that successful go-getter ambitious passionate energy and being in control of your life and having the success and victory wow okay so let's see what your actual situation is what's going on with you Aries so we have the page Juan's wife Wow, a lot of fire and earth. Now we have the Eight of Pentacles. And we have the Four of Pentacles. So, so I feel like here with the Page of Wands, this could be an offer coming in or you accepting an offer from somebody and now you're going out onto a new venture. Maybe it's a new job. Maybe it's, a you know, with this... Knight of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles, maybe, you know, with the Knight energy, you've taken and accepted like a new job and maybe you're working hard at that. But I do see success and victory here and being very passionate and standing your ground as we had standing your ground over there. So maybe, you know, you did accept an offer and maybe it was a new job. And this is you working hard, mastering your craft, dedicated effort, really, really working hard here. And then you have the four of pentacles, so that, that's about stability. You know, you're hanging on to what you have. Um, I feel like you, you know, you hold on to things. You don't spend foolishly. You really manage your budget well. Um, and you have total control over your finances and stability for the future, I'm getting. Because uh, this is the after tarot. So this could have been a new job, you know. You accepted it. You're working hard. And you're remaining stable and grounded here with the Four of Pentacle energy. So I don't know, maybe you went through a time period where you had lost a job and you felt like you, you couldn't find a job. Maybe that's what the seek is here. Maybe you were seeking and looking and looking and you were losing hope, losing hope. Then all of a sudden this offer came in or you, you know put out your resume or application and then it was accepted and now... Now you have success and victory and you're, you know, strong, passionate and go-getter, you know, accepting it, working hard and now having your stability. All right, so let's see, what's your advice now? Okay, so now we have death and we have the Ace of Cups. So 
So we have Scorpio and now water. So death, you know, is, you know, maybe you, like I said, you had lost your job before or something like that. If this isn't job related, um, you know, maybe you lost some money somehow or something like that and you were worried about your finances and then all of a sudden something came in here and you were able to work hard and move forward and regain your stability in some way. I really feel like it's career related here though. Or it could be something to do with your finances somehow, you know, losing some, but then regaining it and then getting, getting back your stability. But the death here, you know, Scorpio energy is about, you know, something coming to an end. So again, maybe, like I said, you have lost a job, but then here, you know, you transform, you rebirth, you have a resurrection, you have a new beginning. So, you know, and you know, with this death energy, maybe you felt like, you know, all hope was lost. But you transformed out of that and now you have the ace of cups so you have fulfillment now happy um enlightenment you know just fulfillment and feeling really at peace and in harmony with yourself with life right now because you've transformed from death into the ace of cups so that's like a beautiful energy there a divinely guided happy overflowing of abundant nurturing caring compassionate energy feeling total happiness and joy moving forward so you know you went through this loss thinking it all was lost you know and, and thinking this is you know what am i going to do now and transformed into this beautiful ace of cups energy so that's nice so let's see so you know your advice well this was your actual advice is to transform and have this total happiness joy and fulfillment which i think you've already done so your advice is to keep going in that energy so let's see aries what your outcome may be so we have the four swords so air energy here so this could be aquarius energy uh, libra gemini aquarius energy so maybe you know looks like it could be a, a mother figure here or even you know like your spouse or a family member or friend looking over you and maybe they see like how hard you're working and moving forward passionately into your bright new beginning here and feeling total you know at peace with the dove there and just in a good good place but maybe you know that you're overseeing and saying you know you need to you know your outcome is needing to take a break and relax and rejuvenate and recuperate because maybe you're just working too hard and they may be worried about you and your health and getting enough rest so i think your outcome would be needing to take a rest i think you're working too hard and you have somebody here that's very worried about you and it could be this aquarius energy worried about you working too hard all right, so let's get more clarity here. So we have the Seven of Cups. So, yep, I think this is your energy before, you know, looking at all your options, you know, losing something here, and then what am I going to do now? I need to go and find something. How do I do it? Where do I go? Having options and confusions here. And now you have the Temperance. So this is Sagittarius energy. So this is balancing out your energy. Here, having the peace and harmony here and having you know the healing energy the patience with yourself and really balancing out your energy here being enlightened being in a good place the knight of wands again I feel like the knight of pentacles the knight of wands you know working hard moving forward a lot of drive ambition and anxious energy, go-getter energy, going after it, just doing it, doing it, working, working, very passionately, hard working here, real go-getter kind of energy. Ace of Wands, so again, some kind of offer came in, you know, your application was accepted, or new opportunity, new endeavor, exciting, um, new beginning here with the Ace of Wands. So you have the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands. It's your energy fire. So, yep, accepting it, got it in your hand. You're excited, you're passionate, you're 
ready for this new endeavor, whatever it is for you. Um, brand new beginning here. Yep, the world. So closing out one chapter, Earth Energy, closing out one chapter that you were in, starting a whole new chapter here, whole new world. New cycle, new start. Five of Pentacle energy, exactly. Feeling lost, abandoned, confused, left out in the cold, neglected, you know, maybe losing, you know, worried about your finances, losing money, losing job. You know, what am I going to do? You know, things are going downhill. I'm losing hope. I'm looking, I'm seeking, I'm seeking, but I'm not finding anything. And all of a sudden, boom, this comes in. All right, I want to see what's on the bottom of the deck now for you. The magician. So again, manifesting. So you probably manifested this into your life without knowing it, or you know, maybe you knew what you were doing here, but... You know, brand new beginning with one. So you got one, you got three ones here of brand new beginnings. Manifesting, whole new world, whole new beginning in your life here. Wands for passion, cups for love, emotions, and compassion, pentacles for stability, swords for truth and clarity, clear thinking, four of cups. So... So, I don't know. I mean, this is an energy of, you know, not accepting any offers or not seeing any offers or, you know, you're probably worried at a time here, you know, when is this offer going to come in? Or maybe there were some offers that did come in that you refused. You know, maybe all of a sudden you had more than one option as with the seven of cups over here, being confused which way to go. And then finally realizing which cup you want to choose. So the Hierophant uh, energy here, this is Taurus. So I feel like, um, you know, this is faith, spirituality, um, commit, commitment. So maybe you're very, very committed to what you're doing now. You know, you go at it full force, full with your whole heart, a lot of drive and ambition. And you, you follow the rules, you follow the book, you do what's just and right. Very trustable person, very hard worker type of energy Queen of Swords is a Libra Gemini Aquarius energy so um, and the Ten of Wands so I, I really do think you have somebody watching over you th thinking you're working too hard you're working too much with the Ten of Wands being too burdened and having too much on your plate I really think you have this Aquarius person watching over you and saying, my gosh, you know, you need to slow down. You need to not carry so many burdens, so much weight on your shoulders. You're absolutely doing too much. Wow. And then you have the Six of Swords energy, and now you even have the King of Swords. So, I mean, this could be like a mother and father situation or something like that. You know, you could be a young person or, or older person. I don't know. Um... But, you know, here you're going into a, a more healing, balanced place here with the Six of Swords. You know, I think, you, you know, you left that other place and um, you learned your lessons. And now you're going into a much better place, you know, healing, balanced place. But I think you need to slow down a little bit. Maybe you're overworking too much because um, it looks like there's somebody watching over you, keeping an eye on you. And I, I definitely feel like it's like a close friend or like a um, motherly figure or something like that. It's really worried about you overworking too much, taking on too much. It's worried about your health. So you may need to slow down a little bit. As, you know, excited, passionate, and as much, as much um, drive and ambition that you may have. All right. Aries, Aries, let's see, let's get some more messages for you, what other messages do we have for Aries for this general reading, for the first half of August, Spirit please, what other messages do you have for Aries, Spirit please, for the first half of August. Yeah, 
There we go. Oh, we got got two. So we have the two of swords, mental conflict, and then we have the four of wands. So, yep. So I think you were very conflicted at one time uh, about your situation before this new opportunity came in and you were going through something here and you thought all hope was lost and you were looking, looking, looking and you were so mentally conflicted about what's going to happen to you, what's going to happen to your future, what's going to happen financially, uh, your family, whatever it was for you, being very, very conflicted and worried and nervous about your home, your family, because you have the foundation and achievements for one. So this is, I mean, you could be married, with, you know, have a family, and you're like, you know, how am I going to provide for my family now that, you know, this loss came in, I'm losing hope, I'm seeking, but I'm not finding, and then bam, all of a sudden, this comes in for you. And now you have your stability back, happy home and family. You have the rebuilding of the foundation, you know, the rainbow here, achievement, you know, and um, a really firm uh, foundation here with your family again. Let's see what else. Again, here we have with the Ace of Pentacles. So <laughs> now we have the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles. So yeah, growth, expansion, prosperity, wealth, abundance. You know, now being able to plant the, the seed, the foundation, and you will have this big, beautiful tree that will blossom and pro always provide fruit for you. Wow, nice. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have third eye chakra. So that is, you know, having a spiritual awakening, you know, through the mental conflict and with the six, having that peace, harmony, and balance. Um, being, you know, the third eye, third eye chakra is about being enlightened, listen to your gut, your intuition, uh, the thoughts, being spiritually connected. So whether or not you are spiritual or you connect in that way or you listen to your gut and your intuition and really have that higher knowing and really listening to uh, the thoughts in your mind. And then Ace of Wands again, wow. Ace of Wands again, passion ignited, a whole new beginning. Yep, fire ignited, and now even the crown chakra. So you could have had a big spiritual awakening through this whole process, being totally enlightened. Six, seven, um, wow. Even here with awareness. One is the magician again, and we have the magician over here. So now we have the magician again. Wow, really manifesting uh, this whole new chapter in your life and we have every ace now on the board the ace of wands twice the ace of pentacles the ace of cups well we don't have the ace of swords but um yep so truth clarity higher knowing intuition spiritual awakening perhaps even through this whole process through the mental conflict and worried about where you're going but everything working out in the end. Wow, Aries. So if this resonated for you, Aries, please do like, share, comment. I love to read the comments. Uh, subscribe. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post um, new readings, bi-weekly, general and love. So please don't miss out on that. So I'm wishing you good luck here. Everything looks great. Looks like you're in a good place, going in a great direction. Future looks big, bright, and beautiful, and prosperous, and a lot of growth, expansion, and a whole new world, whole new chapter, whole new foundation, stability, and you won't have any need to worry with all these aces on the table. So, uh, Aries, sending you many light, love, and blessings, and as I always, always say with my channel, is with the sun energy here, so always, always shine your light.